What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today, I'll be showing you guys the easiest and quickest way to get holographic cards in NBA 2K22 next year. Now, this is the by, by far the easiest way to get them. This will work throughout the year. So no, no matter what point throughout the year of my team you're watching this, it will continue to work because it's using a very, very simple method, which I'll explain like the maths and all that behind it very, very shortly. But this is by far the easiest way to do it. We'll jump across to the PlayStation. I'll show you exactly what I mean. All right, now there is one set of cards that will remain across the uh, across packs for the entirety of the year and that is these base set cards now throughout the year we might get another set of base cards and then another set you know how it is throughout the seasons we might get upgraded uh, sets but to start off with while we've got my team base set number one you need to go through these and look uh, individually through these and you can find uh, holographic cards this easy as we know there is no search filter in the auction house if I head across to the auction house I go to search there's nothing here which enables me to look for holographic cards so a lot of people struggle to get them and for me i'm no money spent so i try to find really cheap ones and this is by far the easiest method so go across to your collection you want to go to my team base set whichever one's the most recent for when you're watching this video for me it's base set number one and just just an example i always aim to go middle or top row of these base sets so philadelphia say we we'll go Joel and bead is quite a frequent card that gets pulled we'll head across here you will have to do a bit of searching you might uh, we've, We've already found one. Like, this is what I mean. Like, it, they are that easy to find. Obviously, 17K for a card that sells for less than two is quite expensive. But at the end of the day, you're looking for a holographic card. You're most likely going to be spending a little bit of cash for it. So, there it goes one. Joel Embiid right there. We go to another team. We'll go to a, another team in the West. We'll go to the Lakers. Uh, we'll go Kobe Bryant, right? We'll try to find a holographic Kobe. We'll scroll across. It's basically you search these individual players. Now, say for the challenges, this does make me feel a bit motion sick when I go through it this fast. But say for the challenges, say, the other day um if we go across to the the season challenges i'm pretty sure it's one past one i think if we go to completed season challenges there was one where we had to get holographic dunks i'm pretty sure um i'm not sure where it is but there was one where we had to get holographic dunks i remember that and basically you want to be looking for a player and you're going to be looking at their stats so say if it's a say it was like five dunks in a game with a holographic player i'm not going to be looking at a you know a five foot something player i'm going to be looking for a Joel and beat i'm going to be look at those sort of players and always look on the middle or top rows you're very very unlikely going to get a bottom row holographic card that's just from my experience i've gone through every single team and every single player um and trying to find the cheapest possible i forgot who i got actually at the end of the day um i i might i've, I've completely forgotten who i've gotten actually but i did end up getting a holographic card that i used for the challenges um and it was quite helpful i this is my no money spend account so i don't have a lot of cards on here i do sell back a lot of the ones that i do get but at the end of the day this is by far the easiest now, another way of doing it is going to your auction house and basically minimizing at your your search so say i'm looking for a player i'll go not even go point guard you'll change the division so you go atlantic and then you'll go gold because gold cards get pulled a lot at the moment and there's a high chance of that i did explain to you guys i did tell you guys at the start there's a lot of math behind it so basically the reason why you want to go with these collection sets these home base sets here is because these have such a high chance, such a high frequency of being in packs, no matter what chance it is, no matter what point it is throughout the year. Obviously, we'll get different base sets, so base set two in a few months time, base set three, so on and so forth. But no matter what, they are always going to appear more in packs than the themed or the designed packs. So say, if we go across to the pack market right now, here in season one, we've got signature series packs, right? So if I don't get a guaranteed, right? I do, I, I get a guaranteed player with this, right? So you can see down the bottom, my webcam kind of covers it, but I get a chance at pulling a player, right? I, if I open up that more than, like five times out of 10, more than that, I'm going to be getting a base set card. So that means that there's thousands, if not tens of thousands of people opening these packs every time they come out and there's a high chance they're going to get those holographic cards and they're going to put them up on the market and you will be able to find them in here you're not going to get there's a very low chance if i search Dwayne wade's signature i'm not going to be able to find a holographic one of him in here there are they are out here they are probably going to go up on the market but i have a lot higher chance and there's going to be a lot more it's going to be a higher frequency of players in these base sets that will be holographic as we saw with joel and bead which just happened to be right here so it was, it was quite interesting we got him i'll try and find another one here while we're talking but that's basically the way you want to go with it um it, it is by far the easiest way to find them i need as i said before i need to get them for the uh for the challenges uh, earlier in the week and I, I i managed to get them but as i said with the auction house one if you do want to minimize your your search down if you want to search multiple teams at once 
say I want to, uh, I've got a dunk one. I'll search centers, I'll search division Atlantic, and then I'll set a maximum minimum buy. Um, and then I'll go through here and literally you will, I get motion sick going through this as fast as I do, but you will be, they will stand out. They'll definitely stand out. You can go through, I'm surprised, maybe we'll see that Joel Embiid that we saw before, um, but you, you, this is another way of doing it. This is probably isn't the best way if you know money spent. The best way to do it if you know money spent is to look at those individual cards that I showed you in the collection because they will be a lot, you'll be able to note down at what price they are, so on and so forth. You won't have to just look at a generalized Atlantic division. You won't be able, you won't just spend whatever you can. But if you're all money spent, you don't care, but yeah, MT, do this. It's by far the easiest way of doing it. Um, but yeah, look, overall, look into your collections and use that to your advantage. These cards in the base sets will get pulled so much more than any other cards in the game. So holographics will have a higher chance of being pulled through them and people will put them on the auction. One thing to add before we do the outro is that I, as you can see on the screen, I do have my content schedule marked out on Twitter. I think I did bring it up in a previous video, but if you do want to know when I'm uploading or when I'm streaming, head across to my Twitter. It will be my pinned tweet for the foreseeable future. Uh, you can see here on Sundays, I'm streaming across my Twitch channel, 12 to 3. Monday's my day off. Tuesday, uh, there's a general my team video as what this one is. Wednesday's no money spent. Thursday stream. Friday's a top 10, as I will explain in the outro. And Saturday is a stream and a no money spent video. So that will be when all the content content comes out. You can see the times here in Australian Eastern Standard Time uh, time zone. And uh, yeah, very, very excited. I was, I was planning to do this for quite a while, getting this content schedule out and it's officially there. Uh, people are telling me I'm slacking because I had a Monday off, but it is by far my busiest day in terms of uni. So I'm keeping up a full-time uni schedule while doing this as well. So all the support across all my channels, all my social medias is really, really appreciated. I've got a bunch of new TikToks and Instagram posts that have gone out. Uh, you can find all the links to that in my link tree or in the description. Uh, but yeah, I appreciate you guys, all the support. Let's over to the outro. I know this was a short video guys, but I just wanted to get it out there because a lot of people across different Twitch streams and YouTube videos have been asking people, how do I get holographic cards? And this is by far the best way. Unless we get some sort of auction, auctionable option somewhere in the, in the future where we can uh, search by holographic cards, this is still going to be the best way. Uh, base set cards are going to remain throughout the entire year, throughout uh, seasons to come, and they will always be in packs. So there's going to be a high frequency of holographic cards through the base sets that will be pulled. So you go through that, search individual players, search for players that need, if you have to get dunked to the player, you have to get three points to the player, search for those sort of players first. Scroll through, you will get sick doing it, uh, but it, by far it will pay off and it'll be a lot cheaper for you in terms of being MT in the long run. Now guys, I do appreciate all the support that you guys have been showing me across all of my platforms. Um, if you're not following me on Twitter already, uh, as of this Friday, I will be starting a top 10 plays, uh, a top 10 my team plays of the week. Uh, head across to my, uh, my, my Twitter, it's just under, it's one of my, my most uh, recent tweets. So head across to there and it shows you guys the full process of how to submit. And you can also go to the description below if you don't have Twitter, it'll have the instructions down there, how to submit a clip. Um, and I'll be doing a top 10 of the week, top 10 of the month, uh, which will be voted upon by you guys. And uh, yeah, maybe some prizes will go out to the monthly uh, monthly uh, winners. So if you guys are interested in that, head down in the description, head across to my Twitter and uh, give that a bit of a gauge. But I appreciate all support. Appreciate you for watching this video to the end if you did. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.